Right guys, Ryan Terry here, welcome to this video. Um, as you know, I'm on my Olympia prep now, or on the verge of starting my Olympia prep. And I want a little bit of help, and this guy really needs no introduction, but he is a phenomenal athlete. He's been around India for so long now. He's Mr. India, he's Asia champion, um, he's won multiple powerlifting um, titles, and he's gonna take me through a shoulder workout. And I've trained, for, so I've trained over 20 years now, but I'm always willing to learn from people all over the world because he might have some techniques that I don't know about. So I'm looking forward to getting on in. We're going to hit it. He's a fellow My Protein athlete as well. We have trained or we've done a bit of um, photo shooting, video shooting back uh, earlier on in the year, but we, we didn't actually train. So I'm looking forward to this. So Mukesh, welcome to, uh, to England. Hello, Dos. <laughs> and we're going to go and hit a massive shoulder workout now. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so basically we're doing two, two to three warm-up slash feeler sets. It's very similar to how I would do it. Two to three warm-up sets, getting a feel for the weight, and then we're going into three working sets around 10 to 12 failure. So max heavy weight to 10 to 12. So no less than 10, no more than 12. Seven, yes. Drive, 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 drive. Come on. And again. Yeah, solid. Good. One more. Good. One more, okay. Yeah. So a quick one, do you do a lot of like straight sets or do you do like drop sets, giant sets, super sets, like volume? Uh, mostly uh, straight sets and okay. one drop set, one or two drop sets what, in, in any, one, any one compound movement. Right. Okay, so not in every exercise, just one compound movement? Uh, just one compound movement, I yeah. make a last two sets drop, one drop or two sets set drop. Right. And uh, I change a certain weight. Yeah. Uh, with sky and uh, I can lift for uh, 14, 15 reps yeah. and then do all four sets with this. Yeah. Just two minutes rest, two sets yeah. and maximum reps. Right. Okay. But uh, maybe it, in the last set it is eight, nine reps. Okay. Yeah. So I used to, I used to lift very similar, but like, you know, really heavy, as hard as down for six to eight reps. The last few years I've, I've transitioned to doing like a lot of volume now. So heavy weight and then like super sets, giant sets, triple drop sets do, okay. on the last the last uh, set of each exercise. You go for the maximum heavy 68 reps? Yes. And then drop? And yeah, and on the last yeah, the last set I'll do a drop or something, just to get my cardiovascular system going yes, at the yes, same yes. time as well. But yeah, just amazing how when you talk to people all over the world, how they train basically, yeah. trying to learn. That is nothing uh, universal. Yeah. Person to person. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Right, stop slacking. Come yes. on. <laughs> five, two more, five. And in drop. Three, five, 115. And, and then drop them off. Three, five, baby. Yeah, well, so, so you do a triple drop? Yeah. Okay. Nice, this is my type of training. <laughs> I'll explain this. These are only 5 kg, so uh, <laughs> they are fake weights. <laughs> it makes us look good. <laughs> One, good. Two, nice. All day. Three, good. Four, solid. Yeah, and again, that's one there, big one. Good man. Back in. Yes, nice. Two, yes. Three, good, Mikesh. Four, yes. And again, let's have more. One more. Drive, 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 drive. Good, solid. 
get warmed up. I love that incorporating obviously heavy weight but with volume as well. I love that feeling of <laughs> can't breathe. Shoulders ready huh? Load lene ke liye dusri exercise mein direct working shot lenge. No more warm ups. Tricep ko rest mil jayega. Right. Moving on. So we're going to do uh, dumbbell side lateral raise. Are you seated or standing? Uh, sit, uh, sit, uh, standing. Standing. I prefer. Yeah. I prefer standing as well. <laughs> so as you can see, we're moving on to free weight dumbbell, obviously. Mikesh is doing similar to what I do, where you're doing like a feeler set, getting the joint fully uh, warmed up, making sure the medial head has uh, got blood in there. Obviously, we have pressed, and there should be blood in there already, but he's just getting a feel for it before we start doing our working sets. तो दोस्तों मैसेज मेरा ये है कि आप पूरी दुनिया घूम लें लेकिन जो बेसिक मूवमेंट्स है ना वो आप चेंज नहीं कर सकते आप ये बहुत सारे फैंसी मूवमेंट्स लेके आते हैं कि ये कर लें बेसिक एक्सरसाइज कभी चेंज नहीं होंगी है रायन यू कांट रिप्लेस योर बेसिक मूवमेंट्स हंड्रेड परसेंट नथिंग फैंसी बेसिक मूवमेंट्स सार सो आई सेट दिस अलॉक इन माई ट्रेनिंग सो दिस ऑल दीज फैंसी न्यू टेक्निक्स ऑफ ट्रेनिंग एंड दीज फैंसी मशीन बो पर्सनली दिस इज हाउ आई बिल्ट माई फिजिक वज Barbells and dumbbells, and keeping it simple. Yes, yes. Just put the work in, and it's all about consistency. Consistency is the key. It is, hundred <laughs> percent. Cash. So just quickly, uh, how are you feeling? I know you probably jet lagged a little bit, but I'm pumped up. Yeah, big foot. Yeah, good. He's massive. <laughs> I wish I looked like that when he was his age. <laughs> कैरी ने बताया उसका बैक इंजर्ड हो गया था इन हैंगिंग पोजीशन उसके बाद दोबारा से फिर रिकवर करके पहले से स्ट्रॉन्ग हो गया है हाँ डैरी यू आर लुकिंग मच स्ट्रॉगर देन बिफोर यू आर लुकिंग मच स्ट्रॉगर देन बिफोर आप इंजरी या थैंक यू या वी वी गेट इन देर सो आई हैव अ फ्यू इंजरीज बट वी गेट इन बैक अप वी गोट द ओलंपिक प्रेप नाउ सो आई नीड टू बी गुड फॉर दैट गुड इज देयर अ रीजन सॉरी यू आर आउट ऑफ ब्रेथ बट इज देयर अ रीजन व्हेन यू यू डिप द डंबेल इन Was that just for comfort? Yeah, just for comfort. Just for comfort. Yes, yes. Because yeah. it looked more impressive when he was doing that. I was like, <laughs> shall I do that? <laughs> uh, when you selected for the Olympia, or when you uh, compete on the. So my, my best ever look was my last showing was the uh, Arnold Classic, and that was the one that qualified me for the Olympia. I've done seven Olympias now, and um, every time I come in smaller and conditioned, I place better. Every time I try and play this size game, I, I lose places. So this year, I'm trying to, yeah, trying to bring that condition, but be, 
my last showing was a uh, was a lot fuller, and it, it's exactly what I want. So, and it was the first show I prepped myself. So every other show I've had a coach. The last one I did, I wanted to see if I could do it myself because yeah. now I coach, and I loved it. The coach. You won that show, no? Pardon? You won that show, no? Yeah, yeah. I won the it. And it was just, I did it, you know, in peak week. I used to do a lot of sodium loading, carb loading, uh, water depleting. This last show, I didn't do anything. Oh. I kept it the same all the way in, and it was the best I That's ever felt. You feel it fuller yeah. and bigger. Yes. As, as soon as you drop the salt, then. Yeah. Yeah, from there. <laughs> and I, I, because I have such a fast metabolism, I was dropping to zero carbs for two or three days. And I was putting like 800 to 1,000 uh, grams of carbs in for two days. And I wasn't filling up because I just couldn't get that fullness back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then this time I wanted to try it by not depleting. And I felt a lot better. Right guys, so we're moving on to rear delts. This is one of my favorite ones because you know how certain exercises really hit where you want it to hit? This has always been the, the one for me. Um, and it's yeah, a cable rear fly, uh, standing straight up. Um, you can just pinch. You've got to be careful not to go too heavy so you don't bring your traps into play. And you've got to get that mind to muscle connection um, on your posterior uh, head. You see Makesh has got very strong uh, rear delts. I love this exercise because obviously when you're working on cables you get constant tension throughout the movement so eccentric concentric part you've got constant tension and that's kind of what you want to do you can't cheat it unless you start swinging it and bringing your traps into play. Brilliant for rear delt. Right, so we're going to move on to shrugs. So we've done two pressing motions. Uh, we have done side laterals, done rears. Uh, now we're going to do shrugs for traps. I noticed then when you're doing, you get a, a, a higher range of motion than me, but you bend your elbows up. Is there a reason for that? Because I, I was always taught to keep locked down. When I do rears, when I bend, I always feel it more. So I'm always scared to bend. From behind? Yeah. Yeah, you feel uh, more on that left. Yeah, from bending. Oh, yeah. So can I bend my arm forward then? No, the straight is good well. Yeah. Uh, Was my form okay then? Yes, yes. Yeah. You are doing yeah. good. Yeah. Overthinking it. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, so that's a wrap here at Hale Country Club. We just smashed shoulders. Um, amazing. Thank you, Rakesh, for letting me train with you. Yeah. Thank you, for the rain daring. But I delete her uh, and last time Arnold Grassing winner we so uh, it was good to train with him. Uh, something was to learn yeah. and something to give yeah. him my experience. Thank you. Yeah, so and just to touch on that, you're never too old or you're never too experienced to learn something new and I've learned quite a few techniques off Makesh today what I'm gonna take forward, especially for this Olympia prep as well. And it's funny that we're the opposite ends of the world different age spectrums but we still train very similar we still have the same mindset where keep it basic keep it like barbell dumbbell first prioritize those movements you can move on to machines machines are great but it's getting those fundamentals down first um, and it's consistency patience all that kind of thought that's what's going to make a good bodybuilder and enjoy the process thank, thank you. you appreciate it good man thanks for watching <laughs>